Hi, it's been a while since I've actually, you know, documented my days with you. For all of you who are new to this channel or this video, this is a transformation vi video where I document my processes or my uh, routines on an everyday basis. So I've been documenting my day one, day two, day three and day four, I guess. But, and in the last two days, I haven't been documenting. Um, the point was that I started working and my work was uh, from, you know, 7 a.m. in the morning. Like I get my day starts by 7 a.m. in the morning to about, let's say, 9 a.m., 9 p.m. at night. So when I come back and after the journey, it, it takes a long time. So during the entire course of my work, I make sure that I still consume nourishing food like fruits or smoothies, etc. I make sure that I consume hot water in the office and I make sure that I at least get a one hour work, you know, walk. So um, that has been what I have been doing. I have been reading like during the, you know, cabs and metros for that matter. but. In terms of how I was uh, running or working out, that was something that's lagging. But uh, I recommend everyone out there who is following me or maybe who is doing this um, transformational, you know, experience for your own self on an everyday basis, do do it every day. All right. Um, I was. I would also like to share with you my journey of how I was also COVID positive. A month yeah a month ago a month ago and uh, although there were no symptoms but I had a lot of rashes and it would show up in my face my neck my hands and it was it was bad like I never had such rashes and it was really bad it, and it was dry and you couldn't scratch them they would itch so when I recovered, the rashes went down, but however, I'm still under medication and I'm still having my vitamins, etc. I tried this new method where I use flax seeds gel. Now, this is a disclaimer. This is not, I don't have any prior knowledge on skin or whatsoever. I just use it because it was a friendly home remedy thing. So I would if you want me to you know show that video on how i do it because this is my skin now if you would see my skin earlier i'd share that in, an, in another video you'd be shocked <laughs> and um the so the point is i just wanted to share that with you as well um i've been getting a lot of you know messages and a lot of uh, inquiry saying that you know I, I try to do these things but I don't feel like it in the end I get it I was in the same boat and I am also in the same boat but the only problem is that whenever you're sorry not problem the only point is that when your mind is seriously focused on what you really want to do okay like so the book that I'm reading right now starts off with if you want something really 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 bad you're gonna get it because you're gonna do whatever it takes to get it right your desire is so strong that you're not gonna give up so easily so if this transformational experience for you is really really important for you and you really want it you really like for instance you really want discipline in your life you really want a sense of change in your life and if you really want to do it you're gonna get it all right, that's how the universe works. You put your conscious mind into something, it actually becomes true for you and to you. So for all of you who are like confused, it's very, very, very normal. But the point is that it is normal. Now, how do you become extraordinary from that normalized state that you're in right now? You do it. Why? Because your belief is higher than your emotions, your current emotions. Right now, maybe some events have happened to you. You may have gone through emotions that you don't feel like it, you don't want to do it. You do it anyway. Like for instance, I am going to work. Alright, I go, I don't have that rigorous run 
you know like how I do my eight runs or nine runs or ten runs but I make sure that I at least walk and sweat so I have been taking the metro on and off now like while coming back from work halfway my friend drops me it just fulfills the criteria for you you know I don't have to do it I can catch a cab back home but I know that sitting in a cab is tiring and you're just going to be sitting all day. In any case, I'm sitting in the office. And sitting in a cab would be tiresome for my entire body. So therefore, you opt for something like that. Now, why do I do that? It's a little bit troublesome. All right. It's not easy to carry things here and there. But why do I do that? It is because I'm really conscious about this transformational video or this transformational experience that I'm going through that I really want to put in something or the other that makes me uncomfortable every day. Because I know that once I put myself in an uncomfortable state, even if it's like doing that rep or maybe just having that vegetable or that fruit, but I do it every day. Why? It's because it teaches something called discipline. And maybe our gen current generation, you know, the new generation, as they say, the millennials, we have, we, I think we've really lost touch on how our previous generation was in not giving up so easily. They never gave up so easily. And for them, maybe it was harsh. But for me, if you look at it in a different perspective and a very positive uh, approach to it, it's really, really uplifting. Why? Because you're going to do so much better so well in life if you just do something again and again, be it very small. But I know at the end of the year, at the end of the month, you're going to be a different person. And that is your aim. That is my aim. All right. You can be as normal as everyone is. You do it for one day, you do it for another day, and you cheat yourself. Now that's normal. That's mediocre. That's a mediocre life. You don't want to be that. Now, you can say, what if I want to do that? Then go ahead. Be fine. But when one day you realize that I could have done this better, I could have done this better, and all it takes was just for you to do in the same thing a little bit every day, put in 10 minutes of your time every day for doing the same thing. It helps you become a better person. It helps your body. It helps your mindset to stay focused on a certain thing and to become better at it. Now, it may help for you in small, small ways right now, but in the end, in the long run, it may help for you in big, big accounts like handling your family, handling your financial estate, handling everything that deals with the companies or the bosses that will be around with you one day. So have faith to everyone out there who has a little bit of problem and is confused with their lives. Have faith and have a lot of faith and belief in yourself that you're doing this is because all you just want change for yourself. You want the best, sorry not change, but you want the best for yourself. Have a wonderful week and I'll try as much as I can to post and post a video so that it helps you and motivates me along the way. Alright?